Happy March, everybody. Hi, long time no speak or a couple of weeks. I just got home from being away all weekend. And yeah, I come home because I had to come home, but also because I have a Living Dead dolls package. You see this? Yay! I couldn't sleep the whole weekend knowing this dolls were waiting for me. So I just want to show you the box first before I even open anything. It's in here. I'm going to pause while I cut it open and then we're going to look at the dolls together, okay? Yay! And ignore the fact I look like shit. I'm quite aware of that. I've only had a total of like eight hours sleep, if that, in the past two nights. Tonight, hopefully I'll just, you know, pass out. But anyways, okay, I'm going to open the package right now. Once I hit pause, that is. One step closer. You see, he's bubble wrapped it all nice. Just want to show you guys the process of me opening. Like, I was all ooh, excited about this. I was like, I can't sleep. Look, look. Oh, there they are. I'm so thrilled. I will definitely. Oh, yeah. Exactly as promised. Huh. They have the old price of 50 bucks. Okay. I'm excited! That's them! I'm gonna take the packaging off because I'm collecting them for me, not for any monetary value. So once I'm done opening the box, I will show you the dolls, okay? Okay, this is the lid off now. This is the dolls. Oh, feel his hair is so soft. And there's Juliet. And here's what it says. Death lies on her. I'm sorry I'm blowing my nose, but I just got in the door and I couldn't wait to open this. As you can see, because I look like shit, the cat's been running around like his ass is on fire because he missed me the past three days. And yeah, the dolls are here. I'm gonna take them out of the box because as I said, I'm not collecting these for money. I did it for my own enjoyment. My new uh, thing is collecting Living Dead dolls. I'm not going to get that many. But if I find ones I think are really cool, I'm going to get them. But here's the box. See, Living Dead dolls. And then the back of the box. I'm going to take this off. Oops. How can I take this off without wrecking it? I'll find a way. Looks like there's tape on it or something. But yeah, let's see if I could show you. Oh, look at those pants. Okay, that's so cool. I'm going to have to untie these guys because I want to hold them. So I'm going to pause it yet again. I apologize. He kind of looks funny right now at that angle. I was like, I don't see the extras, but I lifted them out of their coffin here. And everything was behind, as you can see. So you just got poison bottle, the dagger, and their death certificate. I just realized my other one, I threw away the ribbon that the death certificate came in. Oops. But that one was not even mint because it was someone else's that I received. Which is what started this whole thing. Oh, join the club. Okay. So, there you go. I'm going to untie them again. So I keep pausing, as you can see. Um, yeah. Very soon I will show you in more detail my living dead dolls. Yay! Here's Romeo. I got him out of the box. Okay, look at that. Okay, what drew me to Romeo and Juliet was when I saw someone else uh, posting their purchase of Romeo and Juliet. And she's someone young, so I don't know if she even knows who Sid Vicious is, but... They based Romeo on Sid Vicious. And I, as soon as I saw the Love Kill shirt, I was like, oh my god, I have to have this. So yeah, that's why I wanted to collect this. So this is Sid, sorry, Romeo. Don't mind the mess. As you can see, I've got everything here because I'm taking it out. Juliet is coming. But here, look at his pants. Cool, I don't know what these buttons are supposed to be. But he's got like PVC pants, fake leather, whatever cool boots, nice dog chain around his neck, and he's dead, 
And he's got a cool mohawk. He's adorable. This scares some people, but I think he's cool. Yay! Romeo! What am I going to do with these, you may ask? I don't know, but I love them. I was thinking, oh, I can't wait to see it. So that's Romeo. Juliet's coming up, and then I'll uh, unravel the other bits, and then that's it for the show and tell. And look, I'm not going to ramble about my weekend, because this is about my dolls. So I'm going to pause it again. And here's Juliet. I don't know who she's supposed to be based on, but... I like her outfit. Really cool socks. Nice pretty black hair. And she's dead too. And it's cool, she's got these bangly bracelets. I think that's a neat touch. There's something I just noticed about her though. Um, she has some kind of discoloration on her legs and near her butt. I don't know if it's from the black from her dress or if it's supposed to be because she's dead. But here, let me show you what I'm talking about. So even if I wanted to collect these for money, I wouldn't be able to. And also, just trying to put this coffin back together was kind of a pain in the butt. Oh cool, look how easy her boots would come off. See? I'm not going to take them off though because I don't want to take them off. But here's the thing I was just talking about. I hope I don't get cat hair on this already. You see that? It's like she's bruised. You see what I'm pointing out? yeah, so that's Romeo and Juliet, and my first eBay purchase that was more than 20 bucks. Won't tell you how much I paid for these guys, but I'm pleased. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the guy a good review. Um, it was a bit of a troubling uh, start to me ordering this because I had no previous feedback on my eBay account because I don't really buy stuff, so he wasn't gonna give it to me at first, but luckily he was good. He's very uh, professional, and yeah, so I will definitely order from him again. I forget his name. Um, I think it's uh, Britannia 1974 or something. I can't remember now. But yeah, so that's Romeo and Juliet. One more thing and then I'm done. They're black lips. Love kills, doesn't it? Yes. Should I put this back in the front? I think I will. Because I'm not intending to uh, play with them too much. You know what I mean, like taking them out. So I'm going to pause it one last time, hopefully the last time. And we will open this package and I'll read the stuff and there you go. And then that's it, okay? Okay, so I kind of, I kind of, I kind of find it funny, yes. First of all, I just want to say sorry. I'm not as bubbly and as hey, as I usually am, but as I said, I only got like eight hours sleep, maybe maximum for two nights being away. So I'm kind of like, mm. but yeah, let me show you the stuff, the last bits. Oh shit, I better be careful with the poison bottle because it's got a sticker on it. So you got a little poison bottle. And then a dagger, a bloody dagger. I think that's pretty cool. And last but not least, but the death certificate, which I'm going to untie and read. Hope I can tie it back up again. And you're like, why are you untying the death certificate, Dilva? Why? We don't need to see what it says, do we? Yeah, we do. I'm going to spend this kind of money on these things. I want to enjoy them the way I want to enjoy them, okay? So, one last thing, and then I'm done. Meh. Oh, that's... Can you see? Oops. Now, of course you can't see it because it's all raveled up. I'm sorry for the angle. So death certificate. I hereby certify that on the second day of February, 1979, Romeo and Juliet has been pronounced legally deceased, sealed with a righteous kiss, a dateless bargain to engrossing death, vacant eyes stare in undead bliss, with star-crossed lovers breathing their final breath. Damien, I don't know all the morticians, Damien Glonick and Ed Long, 
February 2nd, 1979. There you go. So that's Romeo and Juliet. Dead lovers. Ta-da! So yeah, Spencer. I've never even heard of Spencer, but now I've got two sets of Spencer original Living Dead dolls. And thanks to Magnolia and Ash, they were the ones that got me the first set with the added spells on them, which was cool. And then that's what started the interest in Living Dead dolls again, because I've always had an interest in them, but I never bought them. And that's all changed. And I'm going to have to slow down on this because I went from zero Living Dead dolls to eight. Well, now I've got four. Two already, and then this two, and then I've got the four horsemen of the apocalypse on their way. I can hear their hooves. Okay, not really. But I ordered those from uh, another website, not eBay. It was uh, BigBadToyStore.com. And when those arrive, I will be showing you all four of those as well. I'm not sure if I'll take the masks off of Pestilence and, and uh, War, though, because I kind of want to keep everything else good about them. I just want to take them out of the box and hold them and touch them and play with them. But what well, I mean by play with them, I mean just, you know, marvel over the way they look and everything. But I don't want to ruin anything, so I don't think I'll be taking off any of their clothes or anything like that because I am an adult and I bought these more just because I like the way they look and I think they're neat. So I hope you enjoyed it. That was my first uh, Living Dead doll show and tell, or second. No first, because the first one was me going, oh my god, oh my god. So yeah, bye guys, and I hope you enjoyed this. Yay, Living Dead doll, Romeo and Juliet. I wish they'd talk. That'd be kind of cool. Like, bye. The end.